Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today is going to be my TBR takedown for the month of May. If you are new here, the TBR takedown is basically just a game that I'm playing trying to get my TBR from 240 to 113. At least my physical books anyway. I'm sure that I have some ebooks that need to be read as well, but I'm not worried about those right now. That's for another day. For the month of May, I gave myself this list of restrictions and I don't know if it's because I gave myself restrictions or if it's because I just have not been into reading what I'm reading, but it just didn't work for me at all this month. I ended up reading eight books that were on my TBR of like 16 books, but I also read five books that were not on my TBR. Um, just because I wasn't into what was on my TBR. And it's not that it was the book itself because I hadn't started any of them. So how do I know that it, that wasn't the book? Um, it's just, I wasn't into fantasy at the moment. I was really wanting to read more um, contemporary sci-fi and other things that I had been looking at for months that I just hadn't read yet. That being said, I decided pretty early on that as long as I was able to get 16 books off of my physical TBR, um, that I was okay with it. The books that I didn't read that were on my May TBR that I technically should be unhauling at this current moment in time, um, I'm going to put them in a pile and those are going to be the first books that go if I don't meet my goal of 113, but I just don't feel like it's fair to them to unhaul them when it's me and my mood reading that's the problem. There's also one giant exception to this and it is um, Six of Crows because I guess I didn't realize that the Grisha trilogy was set in the same world and that there are characters in that series that kind of come over into the series um, that you see briefly but you would basically spoil yourself on the outcome of those characters in this series. So I'm putting this back on the shelf until I have the Grisha trilogy because I don't own it. Um, so I feel like I would be doing myself and this book a disservice if I read it prior to reading the Grisha trilogy. So again at no fault of this book or um, anything. I, so I'm, this one it can go back on the shelf and live and be happy. That one's away. We'll discuss some other things. So my starting number for the month of May was 94. I think I said 95 in the last video or 93. I don't know what I said but it's 94. I did a double check. I counted it. It's 94. I feel like every month I'm off. It's a problem. I had three purchases for the month of May. They were Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I don't feel like I need to tell you what this is about because if you're on booktube you've heard about it. Next I had Once and Future by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. I bought this to read during the bingo-a-thon and then didn't read it because I wasn't feeling it. So I guess that's another one to add to the TBR shelf. Yay. And I also purchased Broken Throne by Victoria Aveyard. This is a bind up of some novellas and some extra features of the Red Queen series, which I haven't finished yet, but I pre-ordered this. So that's how I live my life, people. I read two books that don't count as coming off of my TBR because they were, um, one was an e-arc and one was an e-purchase. And that was Riser by Becca C. Smith and The Lost Coast by Amy Rose Capetta. Don't really need to mention those here, but I figured I would so that if you have watched my wrap up, you'll wonder what happened with those books. Let's give you the reads that do count. Zodiac, Star Force, Starfall, Throne of Fire, Something Strange and Deadly, and A Darkness Strange and Lovely, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Bridge to Terabithia, Shatter Me, What If It's Us, and Lord of Shadows and Queen of Air and Darkness. I then have three DNFs for this month and they are Dracula, HP Lovecraft Classics, and Frankenstein, and also three unhauls and that is The Witches of Eastwick, I tried reading this once before and I know I'm not going to go back to it. It was boring. I didn't like it. Why would I keep it on my shelves? And I did decide to get rid of the other two books in the Fifth Wave series, The Last Star and The Infinite Sea, just because I really didn't like that book and I don't know why I would try to read these two when I really didn't like the first one. And everyone who did like the first one says the, for the second two books were worse. Um, I did read some more of Throne of Glass but I didn't finish it and I think that's where I kind of learned that I wasn't vibing with the high fantasy world this month. So I read more of it but I didn't finish it and I'm gonna try to finish it this month and just see what happens. I started at 94, I hauled three that gets me to 97, I read 11 books that counted and that got me to 86 and then I DNF'd three that got me to 83 and then I unhauled three so that got me to 80 which means I went from 94 to 80. That does 
count the two books that I read that didn't count so it is actually 16 which is what I wanted to get um those were on my TBR but weren't it, it it's confusing and that's why my numbers keep being off because I'm reading books that don't count towards the goal of 113 and that's why I keep confusing myself so my new number is 80 I was able to remove 14 books from my TBR this month I need to read about 11 a month to get to my goal of 113 by the year um I read double the amount this month as I have read any other month this year except for February but I was on a two-week vacation in February so like it's an anomaly the other months were like six books this month was 13 and the pages is double as well so fun fact that is all I have for today let me know in the comments below if you are enjoying the TBR takedown if you're trying to get your TBR down to low numbers if you're playing any games to help yourself get there I would love to check those out I post reading writing and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss anything else I have going on in the future and until then I will see you guys next time bye